Yes, traditional wet shaving can save you money. I like nice things. I have a nice watch. It's not an expensive watch. It's a Orient uh, Bambino automatic. There are nicer watches out there. There's more expensive watches out there. I like nice safety razors because I want them to last me a long time and they're very special to me. I've started getting into more expensive safety razors and anytime I cover one in a video, I usually get several comments regarding the price versus a budget level uh, safety razor and if it's worth it. And these are these are nice and special. They feel great in the hand. They shave well. There's a certain level of like, this is this is it. These are these are what we're here for. Is just getting the best shaves with the best best stuff. Yes, traditional wet shaving can save you money. If you are a hobbyist or an enthusiast and join Facebook groups, have Instagram pages, have YouTube channels dedicated to the art of traditional wet shaving, we're not in it to save money at that point. We're in it because there's a community, there's people that are just super nice, do giveaways, fundraisers, things like that to help people within the community that they've probably never met before. Uh, and we also spend a lot of money on brushes, soaps, safety razors, aftershaves, bombs, different dishes, different mugs, different things to just have fun, it's fun. This is supposed to be fun. If you have the opportunity and the means to go to a premium or a boutique safety razor, I recommend it. Even if somebody just says, hey, you wanna try this? My first uh, premium safety razor was the Rex Ambassador a few years back. I bought it pre-owned, so I got a, a reduction in cost and point of entry, but it's just a different experience. The craftsmanship that goes into building these premium boutique safety razors is above other safety razor makers. There's a love to these things. There's a creative aspect to these things. It's like buying a painting from an artist versus buying a painting at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Buying a budget-friendly razor versus buying a premium razor or a boutique safety razor is like getting breakfast from McDonald's versus breakfast from like Cracker Barrel. Although I don't think Cracker Barrel has the McGriddle, but I think that they should because they're delicious. Pancake with maple syrup infused in it, egg, sausage, cheese, and another pancake infused with maple syrup. Get on that Cracker Barrel. I wonder if they could do like chocolate chip in the griddle. That'd be gross. But this is yummy. As it stands today, I have the Rocknell Elite. It's like their entry level premium safety razor. It's 249, but they do offer some adjustable razors that go well into the almost probably a thousand dollars or so. Uh, I have the Rex console which is the adjustable uh, slant razor from Rex Supply Co. I have the Yates 921 with the uh, medium and the high top caps. I have another one coming from them. Uh, one of those build your own razors. Should be here any day. Uh, and then I have the Haircut and Shave Co. Uh, N095. So I've got a good selection of premium, like $150 and over safety razors. These all have the personality of the person that makes these and designs these and builds these that makes them uh, more special to me than other razors. The Rockwell 6s is a fantastic razor. It lacks the pizzazz that I like in these premium razors, unfortunately, uh, but I do like that razor a lot too. I don't want to shortchange any razor that I've had, I've liked and I've used or I've recommended. I'm just saying there's a case for premium razors and I think it separates them from other razors out there on the market today. That's what I'm saying.